Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today I'm going to be doing the next stage of the Ryefield Tiger Tank Mark 1. Uh, since the last video, I've painted this up with my new MIG acrylic paints. Uh, first time I've used them. I've know I know that some people have a bit of a problem with them because the paint sort of separates. The trick is just do dust um, really, really light sprays and then it comes out flawless um, so I'm happy with that but as I said the trick is really really light uh, um, levels coats sorry so as I was saying last time this time I'm doing the breach of the main main um, armament, armament of the tank uh, you've got here I've the main armament this bit here obviously goes on to this bit here but I have no I have got a bit of a question for everyone if you'd like to um, message me here we've got this little round bit okay and it shows here it sits on top of the gun right there that bit sits on there. I've got a couple of photos of inside a Mark One Tiger. Um, that's where I've got all my paints colours from. But in the photos I've got, this bit does not exist. <laughs> and I've got some very close photos of all the interior of the Tiger. But this bit is completely not in those pictures at all so I've left it unpainted for now just to ask you guys what to do with that and if it's something that's a necessity to put on then I'll put it on later um, and paint it later and put it on right also I've done the basic colour of these which is cr like the cream interior of the tiger tanks um, the basket here the fabric basket I was telling you about on the last video the actual basket itself, the fabric bit, this bit down here, is black. But this little ring around here needs to be like green. I haven't done that yet because my target today is to glue this together. And then I'm going to pick out all the tiny details off camera and weather it as well. And then on the next video I can sh when I'm doing the next part, gluing it together and painting it all, this part will be done so I can show you. But I have finished one part and painted it all. Uh, I've dry brushed this with some Vallejo Aluminium and use the Periscope Green out of my MIG set to do the lenses. What I did was I painted the lenses silver first and then painted out, as it was a clear paint, I painted over on green um, and the other lenses in there as well. Also, the face mask as well, this bit here, the pad that um, sits on the face while they're looking through the periscope is leather. I tried to do sort of like a, I painted it leather first, but then tried to do a sort of worn leather effect by slightly picking the edges out with a bit of black paint, if you can see there. Just a little bit of black paint here and there, just to make it look a little bit worn I guess so that's the first part the periscope's done happy with that and now on to today's build what we've got to do today is get the super glue before I do anything right okay now I'll build this also I'm not putting this in just yet this is the something to do with the breach you don't actually glue it in it goes on the back of the breech. But I'll do that at another time. So, with this, I've got to put... Just trying to work out what goes where quickly. Before I start gluing things together. Right, the breech there is glued. I won't glue the handle on the side of the breech just yet. Because this plate here has got to be silver same with this side 
and the inside here sort of in here it's got to be silver as well with a silver end of the gun in there so um they're going to be quite tricky to do so i'm not going to put the arm on now but i will put together the breech and yeah that'll be fine so okay first step would be to get so that's that done that's that done is to put these two together also i haven't done the vi video for a couple of days because yesterday i uh spent the whole day on the yamato i thought it'd only take a couple of hours to uh sand her back how far wrong i was uh i ended up finished sanding her about a half past three this morning so i was up the majority of the night until that was finished but that's finished now and i've sprayed her up this morning into the white so i'm happy with that white primer she is at the moment i've got to do some more fillering on her uh, just to get a few um, indentations that I missed away from um, that I missed on her, but that'll be done. Well, I'll be getting. I've run out of paper, sandpaper as well, so I've got to get some more of that tomorrow, and more um, primer as well. And then I should be able to bring you a video in the next few days. Also, if you remember rightly, I was doing the bridge. I had to take the bridge apart, dismantle the bridge and put it back together. I've done that as well, so that's all done too. So I'm quite happy. And with the Santa Maria, I had to put two formers on the bow. But after that, I will be um, doing a video once it's all sanded back. Right, back to this kit anyway. Um, this bit I'm gluing in now, or trying to work out where it goes. Um, okay, yeah. So that needs to go there. That needs to actually get pushed in there. So, maybe if I... I don't get... Wait, do I have to... Wait a sec before I take that off quickly there we go right these things here they are um, pistons they're for the um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The recoil of the gun. Because as I was saying last time, the gun is that powerful that um, uh, come on that's not where it wants to go. <laughs> yeah, the gun was that powerful that uh, if the um end of the muzzle was damaged at all she wouldn't be able to um she wasn't allowed to fire because the recoil was so powerful in this tank that um <sighs> come on go over that bolt Yeah, the recoil was so powerful that it was told that it wasn't allowed to uh, fire if there's any damage. But that's the uh, pistons in there in place and didn't break it. <laughs> Thought they were going to break it for a second then. Um, but what I've done is, as I said, I've got to pick, pick these out, these little bolts in here. They go black, no, they go silver, sorry, in there. And then there's these washers here. Uh, you've got the screws there, sorry, the bolt there and the bolt there. And then the 
flat surface of this piston goes black, the same with the other side. Um, and it's a shame because there's no, there, obviously there's the uh, armament decals with this kit, but the photos I've seen, there's a lot of um, German writing um, on the inside of the tank and sadly they don't do the decals for that. But that's the only little bit of a, hmm, I got about the kit. But I guess because I'm being so thorough with it that um, th that wording just isn't there. Right, so that's the main breach sort of done. As I said, that little mystery bit there is um, still a mystery. But then, oh, hello. So this is upside down at the moment because I think the breach, if I remember rightly, goes around this way. No, it does go around this way. Okay, but why are those there? I'm trying to work out. Because if it's this way, it isn't as it's that way. Yeah, because I noticed as well, these two little clips here and here, they're for two hooks that come off the top of the ceiling of the uh, tank to hold the gun in position when it's not firing, then um, when they're moving it, the hooks come off and then they can move up and down. So that's that main part done. Obviously it's not weathered yet, but I'm gonna weather it and everything uh, later on, but soon, more so than anything. I've noticed um, certain bits of the runners and that of, I think it's this part, they always rust. Every single picture I've seen, they rust always at the same bit. And I'll show you where it is in a sec. If I just hold that on there. Right. They rust. See this line here? This is a runner on the real tank. And there's always rust, always in there. So I'm going to do that, obviously. Um but I haven't got the right uh, interior stuff yet, so I've got to buy that uh, tomorrow. But once I've bought that, then I'll be good to go. Right, so that should go on there like that. Okay. Bit of glue, so we want it to go on here. On here. There's a bit on there and on the other side should be... I'll put it on this side and then we'll work out where it goes on the other side. So that, wiggle it on like that, and then this bit wants to go, it says it sort of just glues on there. I'm not going to glue it on just yet, just in case it doesn't glue on just like that. But I will put the basket on. Now these little hooks on the basket, these little bits here, these are actually black. But once again, I will do that when I'm detailing this part when it's all together. So this wants to sit in there. Like that. No, no, it doesn't. Sorry. In there. Hmm. I think I might as well just glue this bit. I didn't. 
I don't want to glue it purely because just in case I'm gluing it in the wrong place. It says it's just there like that. And as you see the paint's a little bit um, different levels of coats so I have to go over and do that as well. So that wants to go in there. It needs to why doesn't it sit in? It literally should just sit between these four little rods. Right, okay, so if it goes like that, da, da, da. That's too thin if I do it like that. Yeah, it's not going on, sadly. Oh, wait, I think I've got it. I have, yes. <laughs> it took a while then, but I do apologise about that. A bit of quiet for me and a bit of concent concentration. A bit of glue there. Right, this one's out of place. There we go. It literally just touches a surface, and that one wants to go right there. Right. Just concentrate inside if I keep going quiet. There we go. So that's the shell basket um, for the gun. And I'm just looking, as I said, that little bit here goes in there. You don't glue it in because. Um, it is movable and also I've got to paint the back of that and everything first now the final bit is underneath here along this bit here and that goes like Might need a tweezers for this bit. Where are you tweezers? There we go. Like that.
like that. As I said, I'll tidy it all up afterwards. And one more bit. This is the actual firing button. I have looked into it. Um, just remember where it goes. It goes. Camera, behave yourself. Right under here. And I have already checked the unit itself. The box is grey and the firing button is red. So, like that. And there you go. That is the back of the gun so far done. I'll go away now and pick out all the detail on her. And I've got to buy that part tomorrow, then I can weather her up as well. The only difference will be from the next video is all of it will be painted and the little arm um, sits on there. That's the, uh, I think, up and down, but up and down arm. But that's it. As always, thank you for watching my videos. Um, and please subscribe and also feel free to go over to my Facebook group where I where you can add your builds and I'm trying to build over build up a community everyone's welcome from the youngest modeler to the oldest modeler so anyone's welcome uh, thank you have a great day and happy modeling goodbye for now